Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new experience of creating pages based on the site that you are. Up until now, you could create, uh, when you would go to the SharePoint homepage, you could create a, a new post and you can choose actually w what site it will be created. Now, there was a, also um, an experience where you could create private pages, which will be deprecated. So I, I will click on go to pages. And I'll see here on top a remark that says creating private pages are not supported anymore. So what can we do? We have here a button that we can create a blank page or a new site. Maybe this will replace the uh, current home page and we have my content and I can choose a uh, recent uh, edited so and as you can see here I can create a blank page a status update and Announcements these are some templates that we can use and You will see here uh, actually all of the pages that we have and the status of them so let's say I want to create a new page on the demo site. So I see here on top the demo site. I can open the site or I can choose now if to create a blank page on this site. Uh, I can see all of the pages related to this specific site and the status of it. I can search. I can see if it's a draft. Or published so let's just actually create a announcement and what it will do it will create this announcement page on the site that we want now we can tweak it and actually we can give a name and then we can publish it let's go back to the experience that we had before so I'll go click on SharePoint I'll click here on Go to pages and actually uh, once we had this you see this demo pages here for the site that I chose oh it's actually I didn't mark anything but if I go here I will see all of the pages currently on this site I can search and uh, limit the result and uh, this is more like it. So as you can see, I can click on open site. So the private pages will not long, no longer be available. But here centrally, we can either create a blank page or a template or a new site. So from here, actually, I will be able to create a team site and a communication site. I guess this will replace the current uh, page which has been like this for a long time and it will give more information. Uh, my feedback is actually uh, this button is quite hidden so people will not know that it's possible to create a site here. So maybe a, a additional uh, button uh, for the site would be uh, better. Because if somebody comes here, he doesn't know what's possible. And he thinks it's only pages. So, and additionally, it shows only the recent updates. Actually, here I can see all of the sites. But assuming that I have many, I maybe would like to see a list. Or maybe a search box where I can choose the site I want. So this is the first overview. Hopefully you liked it and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.